Hello everyone, before we proceed for jQuery based Ajax calls in MVC, we need to have an understanding of JSON. JSON is the buzzword in the market. Now what is JSON? Why do I need JSON? And how JSON is better than XML? Let us see that. So here I have an exciting presentation which is built using HTML5 and impress.js JavaScript library that is impress.js So let me get started with the first slide Are you really excited to learn JSON? Why should I use it and when? Now first of all let us see what does JSON stands for JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So notation it is nothing but it is a format based on JavaScript syntax and it is a format of object or you can say data. So basically I can say it is a data exchange format so json is nothing but data exchange format so json is used for data exchange format like xml but json is better than xml why let us see that if i want to display employee id then i'll be using xml tags that is employee id open tag then the value 1 then we had employee id close tag if you count there are 12 characters which are involved in this to represent employee id so this is xml data format so it uses 12 characters now same thing if i want to display using json data format what is that we should do let us see that using json data format i need to simply say curly open bracket in double quotation the field name employee id colon its value if you count these are nine characters if, if we look in our earlier data format that is xml data format there were 12 characters whereas now we can convey the same message or we can pass the same data in nine characters and when we compare to xml data format json data format is more human readable it has more readability so we saved three characters and has more human readability okay that's fine but more than this the major or you can say the important advantage of json over xml is data parsing earlier we have seen if i want to pass xml file i need to follow certain parsing mechanism whereas if i want to parse my json object you can see that employee id and employee name this is the object i have s if i want to parse it to javascript object simply i can use a javascript function that is nothing but json.parse i can get it in obj and i can use obj.eid and obj.ename Whereas in XML, we need to apply some parsing mechanism, then we need to traverse through these tags. And if tags has some attributes, then I need to traverse through that attribute to get the values. Whereas here it is simple object. And we get it with a single line of code that is json.parse. We need not to have separate parsing mechanism. So that is super. So you can say that these are the three major advantages of json over xml json is lightweight readable and easy to parse data interchange format so do remember that we use json to interchange data what does this means does it means that you know xml is no more in use no xml has its own value and its own importance 
if I want to exchange document, I can never use JSON. If I want to display data in certain format, I can never use JSON. Because JSON is simply data format. Whereas XML is a document or you can say extended document format. We can also say that it is a markup document markup language. So we cannot use JSON for document exchange like we have uh, web services and I want to you know have some kind of information about my web service using JSON. No, I cannot do that. If I want to interchange or exchange information which is in a document then I have to use XML. So JSON is not for document exchange and it is also not for displaying data in certain formats. That's it. So this is a basic introduction about your JSON. In our next video, we will try to explore more and we will see the things practically how to create a JSON object, how to create an array of JSON objects or you can say list of JSON objects and how do we parse them to JavaScript objects and all these things we will see practically and these are the basics which are required to work with MVC, jQuery and make Ajax calls. So if you want to learn more about MVC and Entity Framework, you can click here, you can go to my Udemy course and you can get all those things in detail. So there is one more thing that I wanted to tell you that is do not forget to share this. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much.